All right, this is the start of day 120. Um, we're actually uh, well into the hike this morning. I think we've done about six and a half miles. We stopped at the Vander Eden Shelter. I think that's the name of it, just for a quick break. Uh, we've got only about 15.6 to go today. And then we will be at the Butov Hostel. But one of the things, it is uh, very humid. Uh, not not hot-wise, but just humid. We're, we're sweating uh, like crazy. So, uh, welcome to the South. Yeah, so. it's like we put our clothes on and ran around in the shower or something. That's what it feels like. <laughs> yeah, uh, but so far so good. Uh, everything seems to be going pretty well. There's supposed to be some rain later this afternoon, but we're hoping that we will be able to get to Butov Hostel before the rain settles in. That would be the goal. Uh, and again, we've got a resupply box there and we'll get all set up. We're going to go ahead and spend the night and then we'll hit the, hit the trail again first thing in the morning. So far, so good. Any other thoughts there, Joe? No, I'm just checking out the uh, logbook here. Betty White had been at this shelter. All right, all right. That's one we've heard of. Looking for uh, Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze, not Freeze sure here. if you stopped here or not, but uh, trying to see if we can find some of your your journal entries as we work our way south. There's the Trout family. Oh, all right. We've seen them before. And. Hmm. All right, well, we'll, uh, we'll stop it here. We're going to take a, just a little bit more of a break, and then we will get back on the trail. And we've got roughly about nine miles to go. So, uh, again, we should be there early afternoon. Give us plenty of time to do the things that we need to do. So we'll talk to you all later. Hey, happy trails. So, haven't filmed much today during our hike, just because uh, there may not have been many views. Even there were a couple little places where might have been in the past of taking a shot of the lake but it's really you can tell it's very hazy so we couldn't get a good look from up top but we're about uh i don't know 13 miles into our hike today 12 12 or 13 somewhere in that range we got a uh, three point three and a half to go to get the boots off but this is wake lake and <laughs> wake lake wataga and we're at the dam end yeah the dam end We'll let you look at the plaque. It's a nice plaque, right, David? It's a very nice plaque. So there you have it. The dam, 900 feet long, 318 feet high, built in 19 through in 1942 through 1949. Woohoo! So I don't know if you can see it, but across the lake, there's a parking lot. We're not headed there. We're headed to the right of that a ways. Yeah. We're gonna go around that side of the lake and then cross it near the uh, the outlet or inlet over there, one of the streams that's coming in, and then get over to Boots Off Hostel. And on the other side of the dam, not much. I guess the water's channeled somewhere else for the power generation. All right, my arm's getting tired. Gotta put the phone down. We'll catch y'all later. We have made it to Boots Off, or at least we made it to the driveway of Boots Off. Yeah, 1.20 p.m. and <clears throat> our last <clears throat> last climb of the day coming up. Yeah. The driveway. This is a tough one. The 655 feet up to the to the hostel. But we love it here. Just wish they had a David saying, maybe we should wait. Somebody come along. <laughs> Give us a ride to the ride. top. You're gonna need to use your use your low gear on here. Yeah. You need to keep it below 10, 12 miles an hour, right? I think I can do that. All right. All right, we're gonna work our way up the hill here. We'll talk to y'all later. Getting ready to start our day. I just wanna let you see a little bit about, this is Boots Off Hostel. And we're getting ready to leave, but great little place to hang out. Sometimes do music on the area at that platform. Big fire pit. What you're looking at there is the kitchen area. And then down there are some little cabins. You can see those. Back behind here in the woods. I don't think we really can get a 
good look at it. See the little path going down there? They have tent sites down that way. And off up over here is David Rumbles. Woohoo! Okay. And up that way, of course, is the bathrooms and showers. And then that little building over there is our bunkhouse. <laughs> cool place. We enjoyed our stay here. Our third time. Check back with you later. We're hiking along. We had a steep up, steep down to start our day. About 5.7 in. And look, coming across hikers. How you doing? Do you know what river this is? This is the Laurel Creek. Laurel Creek? Yep. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, okay. Have a good one. So thanks to those people we just passed. Now know that's Laurel Creek that's next to us. I could have looked at a map, but you know, I would I'd have to open the application, the app on my phone. Rumbles is now running point. But we're lucky because other people have been out in front of us and they're taking care of the spider webs. So we shouldn't have to deal with that for a while. So we uh, met a guy who's originally from New Zealand and now lives in Houston. His trail name's Nighthawk. He was doing a really long section hike and we just met him. He started in uh, Montana and he was going to where? Uh, uh, Damascus. 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 Yeah. Did you mention the two uh, young ladies last night? Oh no, Big I didn't. Help. Big help. Yeah. Yeah, met, um, I don't think they had trail names. Uh, well, they kind of like the gazelles, but that was the name yeah, for both yeah. of them. Um, Jen and Danielle, Danielle. I think. So, Jen and Danielle. Anyways, had come from Carver's Gap to, to uh, Boots Off. Yep. But gave us a lot of intel on water and what the trail trail is going to be like coming forward so really appreciate it. it's great meeting y'all hopefully you're uh you're watching our videos yeah they're so. they're from uh from ohio like uh, talk yeah. about two woo, great two great human beings yeah, anybody that wears a buckeye shirt i mean and anybody that lives in columbus i mean yeah they had david at buckeye that right? was it yeah yeah but we sat around had adult beverages and yeah, talked nice and, and just what they, you know those are the kind of people that you hope are growing up to help save the world that we've destroyed during our <laughs> lifetime. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll go that far, but yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but anyways, it was uh, it was good. I had a good time last night. Yeah. So. All right, onward. Onward and upward. On the trail again. Pretty soon we'll be at the. Uh, well, I don't know how soon it'll be. We're heading up to the falls, which are really pretty. We we looked at. We came through here last year. And I uh, saw the fall, so very much enjoyed it. Had lunch there last year. So footbridge, it's very picturesque. Stuff like this is nice, where you, you can hike along the river. And if Joe would shut up, you can hear the sounds of the water. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Working our way around Royal Creek. <laughs> That's a pretty area here. We're working our way up to the falls. And we've got this uh, a little walk here along the along the rocks.
Now, if we were in up in New York, we'd probably be finding a way to climb up. <laughs> the high water trail must be above that. Yeah, I was just saying, if we were in New York, we'd be going up that somehow. Yep. Yeah. yeah, just beautiful down through here. All right, we are at Laurel Falls. That's beautiful. Maybe we're going to sit here and take a break for a little bit, enjoy this. Joe, I think that you should get this. A little fixer upper. Yep. And I could get it all fixed up. And it could become Trail Angel HQ for Dennis Cove Road. There you go. You know, that would work out great. There you go. There you go. So, speaking of Trail Angels. Speaking of Trail Angels. What a surprise for us coming up to Dennis Cove Road. And there's somebody doing trail magic for hikers. And uh, yeah. Marlene. 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 Thank you very much if you happen to watch uh, watch this. Again, if you can't find a way to fall asleep at night and you haven't watched one of these videos. <laughs> but yeah. thank you very much. That was quite a quite a surprise. Snacks and everything else. and just Chairs. Yeah, chairs. Chairs to sit in. But what a sp uh, great spirit of giving. And she's she's doing it during the week, yeah. five days a week, and yeah. going out and finding the backpackers. Yeah, that's great. We thank great. you. You're an inspiration. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Well, we're going to move on, find a, a spot to uh, actually eat another lunch. Um, so we'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Happy trails. Well, hello, and we're kind of coming to the end of our day 121. Pulled up a little uh, short today just because rain and such, and the next shelter about 10, 10 miles. Yeah, about 10. About 10 miles past here, and that would have. Yeah, we, they would have killed us. It yeah, it would have killed <laughs> us. We, we had a, a lot, you know, we didn't even realize until we sat down, we got back here at the shelter. We sat down and started looking at what we did today, and then we, then we realized finally, oh, that's why our legs feel the way they do. We had about 5,000 in a sense total, a little under that, and uh, we had um, over 3,000, 3,800 yeah, or something like that, like that in descents, and it was 10% grade. So, we, you know, we took a bit more of a beating than we had yet on this trip, but it was, the trail was good. We got to see, yeah. got, you know, the, you guys have already seen some of the other stuff from the videos from today. It was just a good day, but the the rain was hanging around. It got sort of dark, so we said, oh, yeah. "We'll pull in here. We'll make it to station at 19E tomorrow, no problem." Yeah, we decided to go ahead and stay in the shelter. Uh, you see our stuff stuff back there. Um, again, mainly because it's uh, it, it's already started raining a little bit while we've been here. And so we go ahead and take advantage of no one else being here, and that makes it a lot easier not to deal with wet tents and all that. So, but yeah, just like Joe said, good day for us. Um, you know, a lot of ups and downs, but we got, you know, see the waterfall. We got uh, the trail magic. Um, saw several hikers mm -hmm. out today, which is nice. Um, and that, that was that kid we met at the end of the day, uh, uh, Fly Rod. Fly Rod, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's, he's just graduated from Wake Forest, getting ready to start his career in the uh, D.C. area. And he was... This today is tomorrow's his last day of his hike that he was doing. So it was fun. He was excited about yeah. doing it. Yeah, that was kind of neat to see. So, but yeah, we've got uh, 18, roughly mm -hmm. about 18.4 miles, something like that, into yeah. Station 19 East. So we're actually going to try to get up a little bit early. May actually do some headlamping yeah. uh, in the morning, maybe about 30 minutes or something around that, just so we can try to get a little extra miles in. Uh, the weather's still going to be a little bit iffy tomorrow. Uh, rained on us a little bit today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we had a, uh, we met the trail angel we told you all about earlier. And so we pushed through to go to eat lunch. And we got the first something on a t tortilla just about done. And the rain, you know, the sky opened up. So we packed everything up real quick and started hiking, you know, put on our rain jackets and started hiking. And then it stopped raining, of course, because yeah, we had our rain jackets yeah, on. Put your rain jacket on, it'll stop raining. Yeah. And then we found another water source. 
and a nice little campsite right there. So we stopped and had our second tortilla yeah. um, and lunch. <laughs> And so we ended up taking a lot of breaks today, but it was actually, it was nice. We, we really weren't in too big of a rush. You know, we've got a, again, just a two day, um, you know, it was two segment. day plan, you yeah. know, segment to get to station 19E. And that's where, again, we dropped off one of our resupply boxes and that's working out well. You know, it's really yeah. cut down on the weight of the food. Uh, you know, we've, I think the first day was four days. Our mm -hmm. first segment was four, next day was two or next segment was two next segment was two anyway yeah, first day was four but we did it in three yeah so it was that's sort of kind of rippled forward now we've had a little bit extra food that we didn't need on that yeah. because of that but yeah. maybe we'll offset load some stuff at our next stop yeah but uh, everything's going well uh, bodies are holding up we're down to about 415 miles left to go um, and we should cross under the 400 mile mark tomorrow wow. big deal for us big deal yeah so we, um, we should show them our little, maybe a little dark in here, but we've already had our explosion. And we've got yeah, stuff kinda, everywhere. Yeah. We, I can add a light in here. Yeah, kind of okay. set up with, uh, maybe a little bit of shelter life here. Yeah. Uh, if I can make it work. There we yeah. go. Did that? And then, um, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to get a new lighting guy. Yeah, you know. He creates a lot of shadows and stuff. That's stuff. Right. Anyways, um, <laughs> and then we're, ooh, we're spinning around out of control here. Uh, yeah, sorry, hope you're not dizzy. Motion sickness. <laughs> and then we're just getting ready to get our dinner uh, together. I'm, I'm doing ramen and mashed potatoes tonight. Joe, what are you doing? Um, chicken, what is it? Something and noodles and chicken. All right. Mountain house. All right. So we're living it up tonight. Yeah. Uh, and we've been sitting there and just plowing through our snacks to get the weight down in our yeah, food bags. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's about it. Um, again, overall good day. Weather held out for the most part. A few, few sprinkles and a little heavy rain there just briefly. But all in all, I'd say that was not bad at all. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. And we're hoping tomorrow. It's supposed to talk about some rain tomorrow, but we're hoping it'll be a little bit like today where it wasn't too, too severe. Yeah. If it's just spotty, we just push through it. And yeah. We're, <laughs> although... I wonder if we should eat more of the rain gear. We are so soaked. Oh, it's the humidity. It's yeah. not that hot, but the humidity and whatever heat there is working those hills, which um, everything is just, it's drenched. Yeah. It's drenched. Yeah, it, it, won't, it won't dry It's out. almost you know, at the point where you start walking. You just want to, as soon as you can, let's just get this over with. Yeah. <laughs> let's start sweating and get the, get the clothes drenched. So. All right. Well, y'all have a good evening and we'll talk to y'all in the All morning. Right, happy trails.